Hello. Now we will discuss about tetra amine copper two ion. Four ammonia are there. Tetra amine copper two ion. So you can directly say oxidation state of copper is plus two because ammonia neutral. So copper plus two oxidation state. Copper atomic number twenty nine. Electronic configuration is argon three d ten four s one. 4p0. Its electron configuration you can take even 4d. 4d is also zero. No electrons are there. When you are saying copper plus two, copper plus two means two electrons are to be removed. As we were discussing, one electron will go from s orbital. The remaining electrons will go from d orbitals. So it will be argon 3d9, 4s0, 4p0, 4d0. When it is three d nine electronic configuration, it will be like this: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One unpaired electron is there. S orbital, p orbitals, then d orbitals. Now you see, one unpaired electron is present here. So this cannot be paired. Even the ammonia is a strong feeling, and it cannot be paired. When it cannot be paired, there is no use of taking this one. So what we expect, what we expect is sp3 four orbitals, one s orbital, three p orbitals. We expect, but the data is not matching with that one. Tetra amine copper sulfate is hundred percent. It is going to be a square planar complex. To be square planar, it must be dsp two type of hybridization. S orbital, two p orbitals, and one d orbital mandatory. So what generally we go with some books is what they say is this electron is jumping from this place and it is moving here and the hybridization is dsp2 one electron from the 3d orbital jumped into 4p orbital the d orbital s orbital 2p orbitals that is dsp2 hybridization remember hybridization is always hypothetical. It is just for our understanding purpose. We are making all this. So to be square planar, that must be dsp2 or sp2 d type of hybridization. One d orbital, one s orbital, two p orbitals are mandatory. So it should be like this. Now what happens here? Data every everything is correct about this one. Now you see one unpaired electron is there. So paramagnetic done. Paramagnetic. So what is mu value? Mu value is equal to one point seven Bohr magnetons. It is also right. D orbital is coming here, so inner D orbital is coming, so inner orbital complex. Okay, one electron is as it is. There is no effect on that one, so spin-free complex, high spin complex. That works. There is no difference. But actually, what happens is, how little little common sense point here is, when electron can jump from D orbital to P orbital, then this electron can even jump outside. So we can take the electron even completely outside. If it is possible, then copper plus two should be converted to copper plus three easily. Okay, now we are not saying in this compound, but it should be possible. Okay, now copper plus two to copper plus three possibility should be there because when electron can jump from three d orbital to four p orbital in the presence of filling ion, there is a there is a possibility of jumping the electron even outside the atoms. That means you must be able to get copper plus three, but there is no copper plus three ion. So when copper plus three ion is not there. Taking of electron here is not correct. Taking of electron there is not correct, but uh, majority books they will mention you like that. So what we make the changes, but the problem is it is square planar. It is square planar. So one s orbital, two p orbitals, and one d orbital is mandatory. So what again suggested is one s orbital. Two p orbitals and one d orbital coming from here. So here you see, this is the hybridization. One s orbital, two p orbitals, and one outer d orbital is coming. And the hybridization is called sp two d hybridization. Sp two d hybridization. Not d sp two. Sp two d hybridization suggested by Mr. Huggins. Okay, now everything is right. This unpaired electron we are not touching. One unpaired electron is there, so paramagnetic. So mu is equal to one point seven three Bohr magnetons. 
वन एम्पेड एटानोल वी आर एक्सपेक्टिंग सो हाई स्पिन कॉम्प्लेक्स स्पिन फ्री कॉम्प्लेक्स बट इन प्लेस ऑफ इनर आर्बिटल कॉम्प्लेक्स नाउ यू हैव टू से दिस इज आउटर आर्बिटल कॉम्प्लेक्स ओनली वन एस आर्बिटल टू पी आर्बिटल्स वन डी आर्बिटल दिस इज वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग पॉइंट्स वन इंटरेस्टिंग नोट यू नीड टू सी ओके जनरली जनरली व्हेन यू सी द बुक्स दिस इज मेंशनड एज डीएसप2 बट बट डीएसप2 द द लॉजिक व्हाट यू नीड टू से व्हेन यू आर टॉकिंग टू योर फ्रेंड्स व्हेन यू आर डिस्कसिंग विद फ्रेंड्स इज इफ इट इज राइट देन द इलेक्ट्रॉन व्हेन यू व्हेन व्हेन दे आर सेइंग दैट दिस इलेक्ट्रॉन विल बी जंपिंग हियर hybridization is hypothetical okay all all assumptions are right so what we are saying here is if it, if it can jump up to here then why not it can jump outside so if it is possible then copper plus 3 must be possible not happening copper plus 3 is not there simply you can say that means copper plus 3 is not easily formed that means this electron is here only 1s orbital 2p orbital 1d orbital so how can you take 1d orbital from here according to the structure okay now You can't take sp3 because it is not a triangle. Practically, it is square planar, so we need to take this as sp2. Done. That's it. So, few more compounds I will give you as a list. These are enough. I have given you in various videos. You can check um, nickel tetracarbonyl, tetrachloride nucleate two, tetracyanide nucleate two, uh, hexafluoride cobalt tet three, then potassium ferrocyanide, potassium ferricyanide, and this one. Okay, now all these are there. and i will mention remaining compounds as one uh, pdf type of file i will share that one with you mm, by writing here or by mentioning with that okay so that's it for coordination compounds vpt theory meet you some other time with some other topic if possible if you like this video if you like my lectures share it transfer to others mention to others okay na so just Uh, make this available for your friends also. Done.